Mark Keo is a fighter. He's had to be. He's battled through nigh on 30 operations since a car crash eight years ago. He'd still like to have a pain-free day, but the pain is eased, in a sense at least, by the continued progress he's making in his golf. I am feeling strong every week. The recovery, it's, it's basically, I've recovered, but it, it's about getting used to the pain. Every week, certain different pain levels that I've got to get used to and, and manage the pain and new boundaries. So we're going to see how far we can go and just keep going with it. It's been great to see him back shooting good scores. There was a milestone at Arabella, a first Sunshine Tour top 10 since 2010. I really feel like I'm ahead of where, what I wanted to achieve so far this year. My goals this year were to make as many cuts as I can and finish top 100 on the auto merit. Top 10 was a, a thing for me for 2019 and you know what, it, it, it's happened early so I've raised the goals a bit and I'm going to start focusing on getting fitter. Hopefully it'll make things easier to walk 18 holes. The pain will still be there but you know what, it's, it's also how your mental state will be. Seventh place at the Vodacom Origins Arabella. A vindication that he's doing the right things. That all the hard graft is paying off. It was unbelievable actually to see your name on the board and be in the mix. It brought back a lot of memories and obviously a few tears. I had a, a tearful moment and basically it was, a, it was all on, it hasn't gone for nothing. As in the hard work we've done. The, the experience we've gone through, it was, it was a tough experience, but uh, you know, I'm staying focused on what I want to do and what I want to achieve in life. And we just keep pushing. This has been and will remain a long, arduous road. Of course, it's about mentality, willpower, belief, as well as the physicality. I tried something different where I tried to control my emotions. When you deal with a lot of pain, your, your, your attitude and emotions can change quite, quite quickly. So I try to keep it on an even playing field of my emotions and don't let the pain affect that. Whereas I look at some of my other tournaments, I've reached certain pain levels and I made irrational decisions. So it's just when I do feel the pain and I can feel my, mind, my moods changing a bit, just take more time on a decision that, on the shot that I'm trying to play. Mark's been a pro for 22 years now. He knows he can't prepare like he used to, but he's obviously learned lessons along the way. For me, I've, I've tried a lot of practice routines where standing on the range, hitting balls all day, or hitting certain shots certain ways. For me, I've always believed that it's, a, it's about the quality of practice that you do instead of quantity. I've had to sharpen up on the quantity because I know that the qualities it's there, but I've limited on the quantity that I can do. It's, it's less than what I have done before. So I've got to push the limits on practice and obviously walking the 18 holes, but the quality is, remains, you know, rather hit 10 quality shots than 50 arbitrary shots. So make sure they're meaningful practice. He's a nine times winner on the Sunshine Tour. He's not content to stick at that number. Very optimistic about the future. I, b I believe I can win. Uh, there's, look, there's a lot of good players out on this tour and there's a lot of younger players on this tour from what I can remember. I'm older now and the body's injured, but you know what, it's, like I said, it's a, a state of mind. It's what you believe and what you, you think you can achieve. So I, I believe I can, I can win, so I'm gonna stay focused on that and you know what, uh, I hope I can give these young guys a run for their money. We know you can, Mark. Once a champion, always a champion.